On retail theft, Governor Ron DeSantis was with the uh, Attorney General today and some other local and state officials over in the Stewart area. DeSantis signing a bill into law to increase penalties for retail theft, porch piracy, and inciting looting through social media. Treasure Coast reporter Dylan Huberman joins us in Stewart now with what exactly is in this law. Dylan? Governor DeSantis signed the anti-theft legislation at this Walgreens store on the corner of Cove Road and Federal Highway in Stewart alongside local and state officials, signaling that the Sunshine State has had enough of these crimes, that the punishment for them will be more than a slap on the wrist. Tuesday, Governor Ron DeSantis signing House Bill 549 into law. Cracking down on the porch pirates, cracking down on retail theft rings, making sure people that use social media to incite these, these flash mobs of retail theft, that all those people are held accountable. The legislation drastically increases the penalties for people that commit those crimes. If someone commits retail theft with a firearm, it's a first degree felony and could land them in prison for up to 30 years. If criminals commit retail theft with five or more people, they could spend five years in prison. And in an attempt to stop porch pirates, there will now be felony charges for theft of property over $40. It's important to be proactive. Uh, we, we cannot be reactive to the trends that are happening uh, around the country. One of those crimes, organized retail crime. We have seen ORC activity rise across the nation. But lately, subjects are becoming more and more brazen and violent, not only towards our customers, but towards our team members that are innocent and are standing in, in their way. The sheriff's office believes they saw a retail crime ring in Jensen Beach last year when four teens were caught on camera stealing from Dick's Sporting Goods. Local business owners say it's gotten even worse since then. The last time I got hit, they crashed through the wall with a truck. So picture that window being demolished. Everything inside is laid over and smashed up. Things are broken inside. It's a horrible thing. Yeah, it's probably the worst feeling in the world to be broken into like that and have your stuff stolen. Martin County is a target-rich environment. If you look around this store, there's no armed security guards here. The shelves are full. So we have to be particularly alert at people coming at us from other counties. This bill will give us more teeth in our bite as we make these arrests. In addition to this legislation, Sheriff Snyder says he'll be advocating to add retail theft to the existing traveling criminal law in the next legislative session. That means anyone that travels to commit retail theft will be thrown in jail with no chance to bond out. In Stuart Doan Huberman, CBS 12 News.